So you have been looking online and who doesn't love Arcadia, right? But Arcadia is a very specific area. Yeah, and the price point somewhere between two and $10 million. Uh, as much as everybody loves to look at those homes, you wanna know what it's really gonna be like to buy a one of those homes. What if there is an area just outside of Arcadia that might work for you? Look, we're gonna cover the entire area around Arcadia, including Arcadia, called Camelback East in this video. So don't go anywhere because we're going to get you all the information you've been looking for right here in one place coming at you right after this. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel, please tap that little subscribe button and click that like bell and comment below. If you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, especially Camelback East area, and you want to know what it's really like to live there, is it worth it? Because it is a little bit higher price point, but there's a lot to offer. We're going to be covering what it's like to eat, sleep, drink, school, work, medical, everything you can imagine right after this. But if we don't cover everything, pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, let's get at this. Can't wait to share. All right, who doesn't love the Arcadia area? Well, people don't realize that there is a very specific boundary in Arcadia. Let's talk a little bit more generalized and let's call it Camelback East because the areas kind of blend together. Now, who is this important to? If you live in Arcadia, you are very, this is Arcadia and that is not Arcadia Light is not Arcadia and they're very specific about it. Let me tell you, people that purchase in the Arcadia area, which are going to be up against the south side of Camelback Mountain, they've earned the right to say this is Arcadia. Price points today are anywhere from two million on its way up to a dream house in the 10, 11, even 12 million dollar price point. So if somebody is purchasing a home for a million dollars just down the road, you don't want them saying you live in the same neighborhood. You know what I mean? But a million dollars is nothing to laugh at. And if a million to three million is your price point, that seems to be the majority of the buyers that are coming in and out of the Arcadia, Arcadia light area. So we're going to cover this area as a whole for you so you could better understand it. Now, again, closer up to the mountain, it's the most expensive. If you stay just south of Camelback, closer to Indian School, you're going to find an area called Arcadia Light. Now, Arcadia Light, you can find yucky, junky houses <laughs> for about $750, and you can find newly remodeled homes eh, for $1.5. You can find brand new, over the top, completely ground up, homes in Arcadia Light area for 2.5. So there's a lot of opportunity. Look, the draw here is that Arizona typically is this ugly brown desert. Well, I agree it's desert, but there are parts that are absolutely stunning. Like for instance, the mountain that this area is about is absolutely gorgeous. It's so cool that we're actually, this area is surrounded by mountains. So if you're loving outdoors, you have three different mountains in your area. You have Camelback Mountain, which has two of my favorite trails, Echo Canyon and Choya Trail. You can also go over to the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, which is my favorite nighttime hike. You gotta wear one of those little beacons on your head. You can crawl up literally, cause it's like a stairway. Figure, think about like two miles of stairs. You're going all the way up. When you get to the very top, it feels like you're on Mars, meaning there's no flat level. It's seriously like Mars and all these pointy and you get your butt, but I saw a ring tail raccoon up there. All right. Nonetheless, there's wildlife up there, so be careful, but the most incredible views at the top of Piestua and a super easy family-friendly trail, again, on the south end of this area in Papago Mountains, and it has a hole in the rock, and a lot of people love climbing up there just before sunset and soaking it all in. So this is a very ideal area, not only for the outdoor living right in the middle of the city, but you have every freeway that you pretty much need to access. You have 101 directly on the east of you. You have 51 on the west of you. You can head up north, you're gonna catch the 202, or you could go down a little south and you're gonna catch the 10 and the 143. Want any more freeways? You have the Phoenix International Airport, just about 10, 15 minutes away. You also have um, Scottsdale Air Park, also a different direction if you're in private Learjet type of transportation. That's only gonna be about 15 minutes 
minutes away, 10, 15 minutes away as well. Medical care from this area, you got your pickings. You have the three top hospitals that we have here, which is Banner, Honor Health, and Dignity. There are also fantastic Mayo Clinic, and plastic surgeons all around this area. It is incredible. In fact, even my dentist is in this area. Anything medical you could need or want, even Phoenix Children's Hospital is just outside of the true Camelback East area. I'm telling you. Medical care, you're covered. For education, for schools, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. If you live in Arcadia or Arcadia Light, you, and let's just again call it Camelback East, if you live in this area, you're probably not going to go to the public schools. Take a look at this map from greatschools.org and you're going to see the ratings aren't that great. I'm not going to lie. The people that live in this area, they're not all about sending their children to public schools at all. This is a very prestigious area. Obviously, with that price point comes, you're going to see the entire area. Well, let's see. The popular vehicles right now are going to be the Lexus Range Rover white with the blackout windows and the black tires. Or we're going to see... Um, Oh gosh, you know, Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW is one of my favorites. Not, I mean, yeah, a few Teslas, but I'll be honest with you. It's more about the sports car, the speed and the money um, in this area than it is the, you know, except for the high-end Teslas. You don't see a lot of SUVs other than outside of like the Range Rover and the, the Lexus. Those are pretty much the only two you're going to get. As far as the schools, like I was saying, most of the children in this area are going to private or at least charter schools. Some of the top charter schools in this area are going to be like Basis, Great Heart Academy, several other Montessori schools. There is a very prestigious high school, Brophy, that is really hard to get into. Many of these schools, even the Basis, the charter schools, you're going to want to get your children registered a year, two years, three years in advance. There is a lot of private religious-based schools in the area top notch. And let me tell you, I've had a lot of people that have moved to the greater Phoenix area for one reason or another, but their children were the number one priority and they were looking at the right schools. If you are looking for some of these very small private like very specific, maybe you're looking for something very STEM focused or maybe um, more uh, liberal arts focused, or maybe they have a, a, a handicap or some, a challenge that they need to overcome. This area has the top rated schools, but they're so small. They might have like 50 students. So they're not really gonna show up on these maps. You have to do a lot of research. So again, I have people that are moving to the Valley that are letting the school dictate where they'll drive an hour to go to work as long as their child gets into the right education program. And I'll tell you, this is the area for it. Here's another thing. If you come from an area where you're used to having um, country clubs or social clubs, you will want for nothing in this area, but you just gotta remember, and I have to pull out that checkbook. We don't use checkbooks anymore, but you know what I mean. There are country clubs in every single different directions. There are resorts. There are golf courses. If you want that type of living, if you um, are a tennis player, which let me tell you, this girl's not so good at tennis or golf. What does that tell you? <laughs> I'm a hiker. But if you are looking for golf courses or country clubs, this is an area that you really want to check out. Many of these private country clubs and the golf clubs, they have very large membership fees, anywhere from two hundred to $300,000, um, plus the annual fees of about fifteen to 25000 But here's the problem or challenge, I should say. Some of them have very long waiting lists. So if you're thinking of moving out here, again, I have another family that's really basing where they'll be buying their home as to which country club that they will be joining. So these are all different reasons you would probably find Camelback East a top priority location at least to take a look at. Again, the closer you get to the mountain, you're going to get these beautiful one acre lots that have been completely renovated. Well, most of them have been completely renovated. You are also going to notice that most of the styles of these homes, whether it has been the original home or somewhere in between, you know, from when it was built in the 70s to maybe where it is today, everybody in this area is really into the front porch area. What are those Arandarex chairs? I totally have said that wrong. You know, the $500 chairs that look like, you know, they're from the beach in Martha's Vineyard. Anyways, everyone in each of these neighborhoods, everybody knows the neighbors. They all get together. They hang out out front. Everybody has like fire pits. They have their little sippy cups. They um, shut down some of the streets, actually will shut down several blocks for the Halloween. And they'll, they'll have obviously a very children focused safety um, Halloween. They have 
parades for like Easter. They have community Easter egg hunts. Um, even in some of the uh, restaurant areas, they will have um, car shows. Speaking of restaurants, some of my favorite restaurants are up this way. And it's kind of cool because as the Phoenix area has grown, they're now not just located in Arcadia. One of my favorite breweries is Oso Brewery. And they started in this area. It is one of the funnest ones. It feels like just a little hole in the wall brewery and they're pretty dang big and they are fantastic. If you're ever thinking of having coffee and a vodka, they have some amazing drinks if you are not just a beer drinker, but if you are a beer drinker, they have some delish. And here's the best part of Oso, you get to bring your dog. So the dog, it is super dog friendly. Some of my other favorite restaurants over there are Buck and Rider. I absolutely, oh my God, the seafood there is insane. And I'll be honest with you, not many people know about that one. So uh, it's really nice. It's not too busy. The Henry is one of my favorite favorite happy hour places. My girlfriend that works in downtown Phoenix, that's our meeting spot. So we absolutely love it, especially the time of the year when they have all their windows open. It's super nice. And another one of my restaurant favorites, and there's several locations now, but the one I like the best is in Arcadia and it's called The Vig. And Vig is just like kind of chill, hang out, happy hour, neighbors hanging out, and the food is super yummy. So and again, this area you want for nothing. You want to go shopping? Oh my gosh. Well, do you want to go east or west? Because if you go west, you're going to help to build more fashion park. Uh, this is a beautiful outdoor mall. It's a little bit, I mean, it's it has some great restaurants here, but it's just never busy. Um, the parking lot's busy, but it seems like everything is really spread out and it never gets crowded. In the summertime, they have beautiful music playing and they have Mr. Sachs is right there too. And all kinds of just great, beautiful area. If you do have a pet, there's a lot of people that just love bringing their dogs in there and they have beautiful little fountains and the shopping is, is abundant. You know, you're gonna absolutely love it there. Or you can pop on over to Fashion Square, which is just, I mean, well, the Biltmore Fashion Square is probably five minutes from the area. <laughs> It's actually kind of in the area that I'm talking about, but um, Scottsdale Fashion Park is only about 10 minutes away. So again, you have everything right in this little area. It is very appealing. And you know, some people, they're like, I want this area, but the neighborhood's too old. You guys, think about it. When a city starts, it starts to in the most desirable area and it keep, continues to grow. So this part of Phoenix was started in the 60s, I think even earlier than that, 50s. And you can see some beautiful architecture as you start to get up into the mountains, which we'll talk about in another video. That area that I'm talking about is Paradise Valley, which is the most expensive real estate in the greater Phoenix area. But you know what? For the bang for your buck and what you're getting, and if you want tree-lined streets, if you want huge front grass lawns if you want flowers if you want beautiful bushes if you want to hear that wind blowing this is your neck of the woods i'm telling you you won't feel like you're in arizona i'm from california originally this feels like my childhood neighborhood although it wasn't this modern of course but uh it is so refreshing even as an arizona to just go and drive down the streets it's absolutely beautiful oh at christmas time oh my gosh you should see how some of these people do these these homes all right guys if you're thinking of buying buying in the greater Phoenix area, anywhere, you need to give us a call because we're going to help you based on your needs, wants, lifestyle, and price point. We will help you pinpoint what part of the greater Phoenix area might work best for you. And then we're going to introduce those areas to you. And then we're going to hone in on the neighborhood. Unlike everybody else, even the realtors, they'll just go online and they'll look at just what houses, and then they're just taking you from house to house to house. Well, you know what? That doesn't always work out. We want to make sure it's a perfect match and we can't do that until you give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. I cannot wait to hear from you super soon. Okay, until next time, I'll see you. Bye.